Hi, welcome back to another Terranscapes video. In this video, I want to do a review of the Secret Weapon Miniatures uh, b Secret Weapon Brass Etch Razor Wire set. Uh, I'd like to show you it in some detail and compare it to the razor wire that I've made in the past and talk about some of the pros and cons of each. So the Secret Weapon Brass Etch Razor Wire is um, a stand that's 18 feet long and is, you know, sort of row upon row upon row on a very thin sheet of brass that has been photo etched. So they use a mask and a photoreactive chemical to dissolve sections of the brass, at least I believe that's how it's done. Uh, and what you get with that is you get incredible detail. And when I first looked at this, I said, oh my God, I can't even see any of the detail. I mean, is it going to really show up? And upon closer look, and I'll see if I can capture that in this, I think if, I, if it's focused, uh, although on my monitor I can't see it, I think you'll be able to. What you end up being able to see, and I'll show you another color here. Um, this is a version that I painted. Uh, let's see if, there we go. So perhaps with the light coming through it, you can see those individual tines of razor along the wire strip. It really looks uh, stunning, I think. Uh, I really liked it as soon as I took a good look at it, and I was pretty impressed with the level of detail. I think it fits perfectly to scale for 28 to 30 millimeter models. And one of the other things that I liked is then you can paint and rust the entire sheet all at one go. People were asking about my painted thumb in a previous video. Notice the fit. Um, and. Um, you can uh, paint it and rust it all in one go and then cut it as you need it and know that that work is already done. Um, before I talk about cutting and, and shaping this, let me show you what I originally have been using. Um, this is a section of the razor wire that I've been using up to date, uh, to date and basically it's very similar to some of the commercially available razor wires. GW produced one very similar to this. I don't know if they still do. Uh, but it's a single heavy gauge of wire that then has a thinner gauge of wire wrapped around it. Now hand wrapping this is a very time consuming process um, and you know basically I, I suspend the wire from the ceiling and then spin the smaller wire around it for an hour to produce say uh, 20 or 30 feet of, of razor wire that then I cut up. But you have to understand that to make a coil like this that is about 6 inches long takes about, well this isn't 6, but it could be stretched to 6 let's say. There's, there's a 6 sort of stretch. Um, that takes almost uh, 4 feet of wire once you coil it up like this to make the concertina kind of effect. So you really need quite a bit to make each individual stand and as I wanted to produce something more quickly um, with a higher level of realism as you know on close inspection you know you can really tell well that's just a wire wrapped around a wire it doesn't really look like razor wire it passes it's an excellent um, do-it-yourself project if you don't want to spend the money for something but um, you know I wanted to step it up a notch if I could plus painting this is a bit of a chore as once I've got the, sing the single strand then I'm trying to paint a long line of wire and then, uh, you know, I coil it up and then I sort of, you know, try to rust individual spots as I go and it's hard to get into the interior and it, it, it's fiddly. So this provides a nice quick way to sort of go over an entire sheet, paint it, color it, and then cut it as you need. I was concerned about the areas that you snip. So basically, if you look, you can see you snip wires here, here, here. And Secret Weapon has a video that shows you how to do this. So I'm not going to go through the process. but. Um, you know, and you cut individual strands, you can see them here, these points that go across, and as you cut those, the wire is released, and then you can, un you know, as much as you want, and then you can um, coil that up as tight as you want, or string it however your, your fancy desires. Thinking about value, um, this sheet, 18 feet, is uh, fifteen dollars. I've done some price um, checking online. I've looked for other brass etch wire, and I've not found any that is either in scale or you know much cheaper. In fact, this was one of the better values on the market that I could find. Uh, so I think it, as it stands, it's good value for the product that you're getting. But how much do you get out of it? Well, this amount, which you can see, um, looks like about a third. I've used about a third of this, so that would be equal to be, say, about six feet of razor wire. That produced, let me get the other, whoop, getting crazy here. And let me change this angle a little bit. Oh, we have a visitor. 
cat. Um, that produced two strands that I strung between these um, individual uh, posts. And this is probably about an eight inch length. But you can see that I didn't quite as tightly coil as, as uh, perhaps I could, but I figured I'll put two strands and make it look tangled. And I think that achieves the effect a little bit better. Additionally, um, it is a bit, oh, whoops, I should be in camera here in frame. It's pretty thin material, so it's incredibly flexible. It does prone to tangling because of all the little barbs on it. So using it is a little bit fiddly. You know, you sort of pay on the use end rather than on the painting end for that. Um, but I really liked the sort of scale effect it produces um, because it is soft and easy to, to stretch. It doesn't pull posts if you don't have very well secured posts. These are epoxied in though, but sometimes in the past, the wire I've been using has, you know, tr put stress on the posts. Um, so this is a nice soft wire. It's easy to conform to structures. It's easy to wrap around to get a nice bite on a piece. Um, and it tangles well, which gives a very realistic effect. So I like the way it's come out. I'm going to be using this from now on on all of my trench pieces unless I find something better. Um, and I overall, I recommend it. So, um... I hope that was helpful. I hope uh, if you're interested in doing 40K terrain and you're looking for a product to get your razor wire up in a little bit faster with a little more detail, um, it's something that you might want to take a look at. And I was impressed when I went to the Seeker Weapon site and took a look at all the different products that they have. Um, they have some miniature leaves uh, that I think I'd like to pick up for some future work. Um, they have a whole line of washes, which I've heard only rumor of as being very good quality. I've not used any of them myself, but um, it's a site worth checking out for some of those odds and ends in the hobbyist uh, market that um, perhaps, you know, it's hard to find under one roof, I guess, is what I'm thinking. Um, if you have any questions or comments, though, of course, leave them down below. I'm always happy to answer those. And um, I just want to thank you once again for joining me for another video. And, uh, of course, stay tuned to the channel. I've got a couple more videos coming out pretty soon.